afternoon guys Laura here from Hedgehogs Homestead today um, the only thing that's going on on the property because we're waiting for paint and trim is I'm gonna be vacuuming up the rest of the vacuuming that I need to do and then I'm gonna start cleaning the showers with a special spray and I'll show you what that is um, to clean them out to get the paint off the shower um, because they sprayed the ceiling and didn't um, we didn't know that we needed to ask if they were gonna cover up our showers or if we needed to do that so caution uh, to uh, learn from our example <laughs> not what to do sometimes so there you go uh, Chris is all hooked up to the uh, the lawnmower or the bush hog um, and he's gonna cut up or uh, start cutting the, the, the broom sage down and then uh, we're gonna disc it and do all this stuff and then uh, put some pasture grass in so that's what's happening with that well I get inside and work inside he's gonna do that um, so he's on light duty so he can't be scrubbing and doing things like I do um, so he, he can do this though you know he can sit in a tractor and and work and so um, got the tractor uh, hooked up to the to that um, bush hog in record time for us so we're finally learning how to how to maneuver these things which feels really good so let's get inside and get to work so we really needed to get a new vacuum um, that one um, couldn't find the filter for and it's a little small for the job um, so um, we got a new vacuum and that's why in that video you saw a lot of dust going around um, because we needed this guy so we got this guy and it made a big you can difference see in the video that it is a lot cleaner in there so it made a huge difference Okay, well that is the uh, vacuuming. Now I'm going to get on the other portion, which is cleaning out those showers. And I'll show you them before we start and why I need to clean them. Um, and, I, you know, remember they're vacuumed out, so they look better than they did. So um, I'll show you those and then I'll go get the product that um, Home Depot recommended uh, to clean them off. Um, the bathtub is covered in um, in a coating, like a plastic coating. So I'm not going to worry about the bathtub, just the showers for now. And I'll start on mom's showers because this is for um, metal and um, the shower, basically. And we'll see how that works, see what kind of tools I need. Hopefully I have enough stuff that I can clean it with. So um, let's get to work on that. All right, Chris is out here mowing the lawn today. It's really cool. Um, and then uh, we'll disc it, or we'll we'll till it up, and then disc it, and then uh, seed it. So instead of burning it this year. And uh, it's great because um, we are going to have Cornish Cross this year and uh, got to get our chicken, got to build a chicken tractor and um, 
do the whole meat bird thing this year. Um, we did it a couple of years ago and um, loved growing our own meat. So that was exciting for us. So we're going to do it again. And uh, um, this will make it a lot easier, not only to um, get some uh, pasture grass is what we're going to seed with um, out here but we're also going to uh, you know raise birds and animals and, and things on the property of course um, we have chickens by May uh, 5th I believe or May 8th I'm not sure exactly we have from Murray McMurray coming um, chickens, ducks, geese, and uh, a couple turkeys. So, um, and I believe the turkeys are the edible variety. Um, all turkeys are edible, but um, I don't think they're gonna be heritage breeds, which we do wanna do in the future, but uh, we just need to get some meat in the freezer this year. So that's what we're planning to do. Um, we want the geese to protect the chickens from aerial predators. So it's nice that they're all coming in at once because they will get used to chickens and they'll protect them. Um, we can put one with the Cornish cross if we want um, and one with the, um, with the just regular chickens because what we're going to do with our chickens is we're going to have our chickens uh, in a just a, a chicken coop that we can move around. Um, it may not be like Justin Rhodes, maybe not like that kind of thing. We could do that, um, but um, we kind of want to keep it close to the um, uh, close to the garden so that we can go ahead and um, just Take the tractor in there. Um, we'll we'll put a bunch of uh, wood chips in the garden or in the chicken coop area. We'll let the chickens and the ducks and the geese and all those guys poop on that during the season for a year, and then we'll put it aside uh, to let it rest for a year and put it in our garden the following year. So it's a process, a big long process. Uh, before then, we'll use whatever we can find for manure. Um, if we get rabbits or whatever, we can use uh, that for uh, manure for the garden right away. Um, it's a great resource for nitrogen. We also are going to get the soil tested out here real soon. Um, we said that a long time ago, but we really need to do it now. And uh, it's just been a long process and it's gonna continue to be a process as we're uh oh I hope we didn't go over a rock <laughs> um, as we're doing this and building a homestead from uh, bare land so um, started with the house and pretty soon while we're waiting for the contractors to end with the house um, we're gonna start building a brooder uh, chicken house and so on and so forth um, we also have to build a well house um, so look forward to that and we also are going to build probably a greenhouse if we have enough material left we saved all the material from our house build and um, all that was left over all the scraps so we'll be building most of that out of scraps and saving a lot of money so I better get back to the work inside. I got, um, I'll show you inside. Okay guys, now I'm in here in my mother-in-law's shower area. And um, unfortunately, when they sprayed the ceiling and when they mudded it out in here, they didn't cover up our shower. So caution number one, when you have contractors, don't assume that they are gonna cover your stuff up make sure you handle that and uh, make sure that it's very clear that it's going to be done. Um, so we bought this product um, at Home Depot. Um, it's for latex paint and she said that the metals could be very hard and if you look 
on here, I'll bring this in a little closer. That paint is really on. What the instructions say with dry paint is that you're gonna spray this stuff on. We're gonna spray it all over because it's covering the whole shower. And I was very disappointed, unfortunately. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the whole thing all over the place. And wait six, it says uh, da, 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 for dry paint. Really don't want this on our skin or anything. Um, spray it directly onto spots, and they're talking about little spots, and we have it all over. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So, we're gonna go ahead and spray it all over and especially on the middle and um, wait six minutes and then we'll come back. I do recommend you guys wear gloves doing this. Um, I'm going to do my best not to get in contact with this paint. Sorry, I wish I had more light in here for you guys because you could see the paint. <coughs> oh, ooh. Okay. It's too bad I can't turn on a vent right now. Okay. So I'm going to save the bottom for last, but now we are just going to put on a timer. Siri, give me a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, counting down. Okay, so we'll see you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, my timer has one minute to go. I just thought it. I just wiped this little spot here and it is wiping right off. Yes, thank you, Lord. This one's a little worse. Still need to cut off that nut. Okay, so it's coming off really good on the metal. Excellent. Okay, piping the wall. My timer's going off now, and it's wiping right off the some more shower. stuff to wipe down the shower. Um, I need to spray the top, it looks like. Oh. Some of this is mud too, which is Seems like it's harder to get off the mud than the, the actual paint. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go get some more towels, but um, this stuff definitely works. So it's worth your money. Shower so, number two, all clean.
Yep. Now I need to get the water running so I can rinse the bottom a little bit better. But other than that, that stuff is a champ. It does exactly what it says and uh, I'm loving it. So if you ever need to get latex off of anything, this will take it off of clothes and stuff too. Check this stuff out and takes it off of metal without harming it and uh, all of that stuff. So I'm so thankful for this because I was worried about how we we're gonna get the paint off. It's all good, it's all good. Wow, Chris is doing it. He's trying to save those trees that are out there. That's why he's kind of going around that one there. And uh, because we do want some shade trees for our animals, like if we ever bring cows or anything, or goats out here, um, we'd like a little shade tree for them here and there on the um, land. So we're trying to skip those, which isn't easy. I mean, it's almost easier to just mow them down with the brute, uh, with the brush hog, sorry. And uh, he's doing a great job. Killing it inside and out. Teamwork makes the dream work. As we like to say around here, he does the things that he's better at and I do the things that I'm better at. equal partners in the relationship. That's how we get things done here at Hedgehog's Homestead. like to get too close because that thing can throw rocks. And it only takes a small one to hurt you. Doesn't that look fantastic though guys? I just need to get the weed whacker out and weed around this stuff. Have to bring it over next time. Norman, you want to go for a little walk? You want to go for a little walk? Yeah, you want to go for a little walk? God bless you guys. We'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. Bye.